the world is not on track to achieve forest goals of ending and reversing deforestation by 2030, according to a new report. The report was collectively published by the UN RED program, UN Environment Program World Conservation Monitoring Center, and the Green Gigaton Challenge. The report makes it clear that for the 2030 goals to remain within reach, a one gigaton milestone of emissions reductions from forests must be achieved every year from 2025 onwards. But most likely, the deadline will be missed. Less than 25% of emission reduction targets from the Paris Climate Agreement were met in seven years. There is no Paris Agreement and no Sustainable Development Goals without forests. As UNEP's Emissions Gap report reminded us once again, the window is closing. Forest-based actions can make an essential contribution in meeting the Paris Agreement's ambition. It can provide nearly 27% of the solution to help avert climate catastrophe. Indigenous peoples and local communities play a key role in achieving forest-based solutions that have an annual mitigation potential of around 4 gigatons of CO2 by 2030. But for that, the countries must have financial aid to scale up their actions to develop and implement ambitious forest-based climate solutions. However, the finance for forests and the current price of carbon do not reflect the urgency or the scale of the problems we are facing. Committing to a floor price of $30 to $50 per tonne of carbon dioxide equivalent will empower forest-rich countries to transform their economies and catalyze further funding opportunities. The report also highlighted how high-forest, low-deforestation countries need more financial support. HFLD countries store 18% of tropical forest carbon worldwide. Their access to sufficient climate finance must be rapidly improved. But current forest climate finance mechanisms are not adequate for rewarding their historical conservation and for resisting increasing pressures to deforest. Forest goals of ending and reversing deforestation by 2030 are critical for limiting global warming by 1.5 degrees Celsius.